Alright, welcome back. I'm um, just going for another little trial run somewhere. <laughs> uh, I've just parked the car at some obscure little spot at Drewvale. And Drewvale is a little suburb in southeast Queensland up on the southern side where Logan City is. Just going to go exploring around the Logan motorway a little bit. There's four little quadrants. See if I can pass underneath on four different sides. So I'm on the Drewvale side now. I want to see if there's any way to sort of pass on under the motorway via a tunnel or something. So we'll just have a little look, see what's around the place. And I'll show you anything that may be of interest. Run. So as you can see, I'm running up this big power line easement. What I'm looking for is some kind of a tunnel, drain tunnel, that will take me underneath the Logan motorway. We'll see if I can find, who knows, I may see something down here. Oh, I reckon this might be it. There's a path going up. I can't fully see it yet, but I reckon this is the one. That's it. So how cool is this? A tunnel system under the Logan motorway. And it's pretty cool what they've done here. They've put, for the possums, for the wildlife, they've built these crossings here. A high one for the, you know, for the animals to get across. Um, that's pretty cool, I love that. Give you one more look. That's pretty cool. So we're under one section of the freeway. We've still got another one. And how cool are these, is this section of wood to, to go through? And there's one more tunnel here to pass through. Here we go. This one's probably twice as long. So it's gonna get a bit dark and scary. Just keep your light on in your bedroom as you watch this. Hey, look what someone's done here. <laughs> oh, okay. We are now through up on the other side of the Logan motorway. And this area is basically the western side of Carrawatha Forest. Now, not many people come on this side, unless if you're a local that lives up on the outskirts or very close to this side. It's quite interesting. So, so I thought it'd be interesting just to give you a bit of a look. And what I'd actually like to do is cross over a big bridge. Right guys, so from here, you can see there's a big overpass over the Logan motorway. That's a big footbridge. And what I'd like to do is see if I can find how to get on there and go across that. I once rode there on my bike from this side and I couldn't find a way to actually get onto the bridge because it's a big fence. So. We'll see if we can work out a way to do it today. I'm not on bike, I'm just on foot, so I've got a lot more um, access to areas when I'm just on foot. You'll see a lot of these little timber posts coming over. That's for the possums and wildlife to safely cross over the fence. Okay. Well, have a look here. This is the actual overpass the pedestrian footbridge. When you're running up this western perimeter fence line of, I don't know, West Carrawatha, I think it's called, you'll be faced with this. If I had some bolt cutters. No, just kidding, just kidding. Um, so, number one, I can't get over there. Obviously, I can try jumping the fence, but there's always, always a way. And what we want to do is try to find that way some opening, some gate, some tunnel, we will see. 
Righto, we're faced with another gate, padlocked. And if you can see, the footpath is just there. Just there. I've kind of got a feeling I might get swooped soon by some magpies. I saw two magpies. This is magpie nesting season now. One thing that is cool here, and talk about um, Ninja Warrior shows like that, here's your animal Ninja Warrior. Check it out. The possums have like this rope. They go along here. They've got this uh, a bridge <laughs> and it stems forth between three different spans over there across the Mount Lindsay Highway. Check it out. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, to try to get over so I can cross that bridge because I, I really want to cross this bridge. I've never done it yet. I need to somehow find me a way um, that's going to get me just on this other side. Now, here we can see a drain tunnel that's pretty cool and it looks like I'm going to end up going down that. Oh, hang on, hang on. Can I squeeze through? Holy dooly. Am I skinny enough? I really don't know. Oh. Okay, I've got to, I've got to try this. I'm not skinny enough, like seriously, I think I had a few too many, I don't know, slurpees and, and ice creams. So, I can very easily climb over this, but let's try not to do that. Let's try a different route, shall we? And I say, <laughs> yes, let's do it. Here we are, off to our third quadrant. I want to show you something here. Check it out. The Bow Desert Road Bushland sign. I've seen this once before coming up on one of my bike explorations. I never had any idea that this area here was called the Bow Desert Road Bushland. But what I'm going to do, I'll continue on. I'm going to go around this way. Um, I want to show you what this looks like. It will bring us through to the tunnel area. We'll cross over to Parkinson and then I think we'll go towards Druval once again and come back up over that bridge. I'll see if I can find a way that does that. That's interesting, someone leaving a blue ribbon. What the heck for? You can't get lost in here, mate. So I've come up to the fence line here again on this Bow Desert Road uh, bushland. What's really evident here is the amount of noise. Right next to the Logan Motorway, it's noisy like heck. So, so much for a peaceful run, you won't get that here. <laughs> but what we're looking for now is another drain to go underneath the Logan Motorway which will bring us to Parkinson bushland. Oh, hello. Here we go. This is it. Coming back for the camera shot. Yeah. Oh yeah, and here we are. Now this is Parkinson Bushland Reserve or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so I hope you've 
enjoying this so far. Something different, isn't it? It's kind of Logan City and it's Brisbane City Council. It's right up on the, uh, you know, where the boundaries meet. Good old fashioned exploring. It's great, love it. Just got some random pipes just, uh, just laying over there. The Mount Lindsay, it's, it's called the Bow Desert Mount Lindsay Highway. Traveling northbound. The pedestrian bridge I want to cross is over there. I've got to find a way that goes under, somehow comes over there. Gives me an opportunity to go that way. It's, oh, look at this. I just found a massive nut. Finders keepers, I'm keeping that. I'm stoked, I love this. I love finding things like this. And maybe I'm just a nutty guy. Haven't seen any underpass yet. I haven't seen nothing. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. Transport and main roads 2019. So, TMR as they're known, not only build roads, but they build overpasses and bridges for the wildlife. I thought that's pretty cool. I mean, I didn't know that they were responsible for, um, you know, building that for the wildlife, but they've got their sign up on that post so, it must be true. It's got to be an underpass somewhere. Parkinson bushland already. Right beside me there's a drain, a big drain, but this kind of doesn't look like what I'm after. As I'm looking closer there, I can see, yeah, it's a big opening, but inside there's two small drain openings. Okay. I ain't crawling through no drain. What we'll do, I think we'll just run up the, I don't know, side gates here along the perimeter of the um, industrial area. Yeah, I don't want to do nothing too crazy, like go over the freeway here. It's, it's uh, no need to draw unnecessary attention to myself. So let's just keep going, clock up the mileage a bit more and who knows what we'll find going up and around these uh, industrial buildings here. Security cameras in use. I mean, this would be the perfect way just to... At the back of this building, there's a, a beehive. Let's get out of here. I don't want to get stung. I'm actually growing all these veggies and tomatoes all along here. This is backing onto like a trucking depot. These are like one, three meter high palings. Three meters high. <laughs> That's a big fence. Kind of like Donald Trump's fence. Here, there's a bit of an opening here. I'll give you a little sneaky, sneaky look into this big trucking depot. Did you get all that? That's highly classified. <laughs> oh, you gotta love that. Hang on. I've got this. <laughs> Come on. I've never seen that in a council sign before. <laughs> now, as you can see, there's a bunch of Coles trucks coming down to this depot. Here's a way for me to come to the main road. Just shave a little bit of time off. Means me climbing up this. We'll be coming through. And here we are in the industrial area, just at Brown's Plains.
this is kind of the high point on Johnson Road. Mount Lindsay overpass. Let's see if we can make our way up to the, the pedestrian uh, bridge. These are those big road making bitumen laying machines. Yeah, quite cool. Very cool these machines. Only problem is they take forever to build the roads around here. And here we go. We're coming to the start of the footpath that leads to that pedestrian bridge. How cool is this? This is some great overpass, I tell you what. First time running over this thing. Not another soul in sight. <laughs> That's so silly. Yeah, okay, so we are back to this side up of the freeway. Stuff running through the drains back there. I want to get over this fence over here, so... It was actually a bit easier than I expected. <laughs> uh, well, success! Alright, let's slowly head back. What I've done is 10 and a half k's. I've probably got about another, I don't know, two kilometers back to the car. And then that'll be the run for the day. I've enjoyed this one. This has been pretty good. Okay, I saw these things coming on the way up. Got no idea what they are. Well, I've got an idea, but I know that they are extra stinky. Holy dooly, these things smell like crazy. Obviously a bit of the, uh, I don't know, sewerage infrastructure there. And someone's decided to build a rocky can here. Here we go. Here's our ticket through to the other side. I'm not that far from the car now. I think I'm going to call it quits on this video. Hope you enjoyed our little run today. I will have done about 13 kilometers by the time I come back to the car. And, uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. I, um, I hope you found it interesting. Now, I know that watching people run can be pretty boring. <laughs> I'm the first to admit that. However, I hope I've shown you a couple of interesting places. If you find this kind of stuff interesting, then um, let me know. Leave something in the comments field and I try to respond fairly fast and I'm very appreciative of everyone who leaves a comment and you know if you'd like to see me running somewhere else or somewhere else that's interesting hey let me know and I'll see what I can do all right that's it I will catch you on the next trail run the next biking adventure the next whatever doesn't really matter but uh, I'll catch you then. Here comes the big hand. <laughs>